How's it going? Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2018 Mitsubishi Outlander, we're going to be taking a look at the Rolla PX102 Tilting Bike Rack. Now this is going to be able to hold a total of two bikes and it's going to secure our bike down in three spots. We're going to have two straps here on the top two. We're also going to have a strap down here which will act as an anti-sway strap to help eliminate any side-to-side -side movement. Now let's go ahead and take our bike off the rack. That way we can take a better look at it. To do that, we'll just pull down on our straps, unseat them from the clips. Then we're able to lift our bike off. The rack can be tilted back to allow us to have full access to our hatch. However, there is something I want to point out that I found. Whenever we're tilting our center mass back, when we do that, we're going to remove our clip and pull the pin out. But when you're pulling this pin out, you want to make sure to have a grip on the rack itself because once we remove this, there's not going to be anything stopping this from going forward and potentially hitting the back of our Mitsubishi. But once the pen is out, we're able to fold it away. We're gonna have no problem getting all of our stuff in and out of our hatch. Now we can have a real good look at the integrated lock, which this will swoop over your bike's frames, connect on to the end of the arm, and that's gonna help deter any theft. Our cradles are going to have a soft rubber material here along the bottom, but I do wanna point out closer to the top. It's just going to be hard plastic, so keep that in mind. Now, whenever we're not using the rack, what I like to do is just put our straps back in place. That way we don't have to worry about them getting lost. Now, the rack is nice and compact on the back of our Mitsubishi. Obviously, it will take up some space and add to the overall length, though. And by exactly how much, from the hatch to the furthest point of the rack, is right at about 25 inches. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're pulling into your garage or even a tight parking spot. This also has a storage position to free up some space. And to get it into that position, we'll just lift up on our keyway here, fold the arms down, and put that back in place. Now from the hatch to the furthest point on the rack, it's only going to be about 14 inches. And in my opinion, I think our rack looks pretty good on the back of the Mitsubishi. The colors of the rack itself are going to match the Mitsubishi's trim package really nicely. One of the things I think is pretty neat about this rack is its shank design. So not only is it going to work with two by two inch hitches, it's also going to work with inch and a quarter hitches. And that's because the shank can be flipped around. That way, if you have another vehicle in the household with a different size hitch, it'll work with that too. One of my favorite things is how compact it is. It's not gonna take up a whole lot of space on the back of our car. And if we ever need to remove it to hook up another accessory, you can easily pop it out, open up our hatch, and it'll fit perfectly inside with no problems. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Rolla TX-102 bike rack on our 2018 Mitsubishi Outlander.